Hi, I'm Sam, and in honour of Happiness Day, here at Earth Unplugged, we want to celebrate happy animals. But how can you tell if an animal's happy? Some of our nearest and dearest animals, our pets, seem to give it away. Dogs wagging their tails, cats purring. But does that mean they're happy? Well, not necessarily. Dogs use their tails to communicate with others. We know this because a dog doesn't move its tail when it's on its own. Fact of the day. So what tail is its tail telling? While a tail between its legs might mean a dog is submissive or frightened, a wagging tail doesn't necessarily mean the opposite. A tail that wags mainly to the right is a relaxed and confident dog, but a tail that wags mainly to the left is probably nervous or tense. Now whether that's a conscious communication or just the separate hemispheres of the brain linked to different emotions and then onto separate sides of the body is anyone's guess. But right waggers may well be happy. Which brings us on to purring. Cats purr when they seem happy, but they also purr when they're in pain, nervous or even dying. So what's going on? Well, one theory suggests that, astonishingly, a cat's bassy purr may be sending a strong vibration through the cat, which actually helps it to heal itself. Maybe it acts like an internal massage on its muscles, or the vibrational stress helps to build stronger bones. However, others think that, like a wagging tail, it may just be a means to communicate, similar to the way we smile. We smile when we're nervous, we smile when we're happy, or just to appease others. Maybe sometimes a purr is just a purr. But behaviours like rubbing their head against you, known as bunting, is a social sign of acceptance and a good indication of a relaxed, happy cat. So what about our animals outdoors? In spring, we often see joyful lambs are leaping and cattle that have overwintered indoors often jump around wildly when they're released back into the fields. Surely this playfulness is pure joy. Well, scientists are often hesitant to attribute emotions to animal behaviour, preferring evolutionary explanations. Play has been linked to everything from sex practice to boredom relief, and most often to develop physical and cognitive skills. In the case of lambs, they play less as they grow up, and one study has pointed the finger firmly at mum. If a ewe is really well fed during pregnancy, she'll produce big, strong and satisfied lambs that will wean earlier and soon get into the daily grind of grazing, which means less time for play. So what about animals that seem to play into old age, like dolphins? When we see them bow riding and flipping and splashing and jumping, it doesn't seem to serve much of a purpose. So surely this is an expression of pure happiness. Some killjoy scientists have suggested that spinning and splashing may help to remove parasites or could be a way to communicate. Bow riding could just be an efficient way to travel between food sources and play behavior may just help promote innovation to handle new problems. But dolphins are notoriously intelligent. They've got a really well-developed paralimbic system and neocortex, the emotion processing part of their brain. It's even larger than our own. And if we can do things just because we enjoy them, then perhaps dolphins can too. So whilst we might not be able to say for sure that an animal is happy, we can at least embrace the fact that happy looking animals make us happy. So here are some happy looking animals. For more happy looking animals, check out our slow-mo of the wet mammal shakedown and we'll see you next time on Earth Unplugged.